Hello everyone and welcome back. We're now going to go and see friend George. Because... That's how the game goes. Honestly, I, that was the stupidest thing I've ever said. But yeah, this challenge is like... Introduction to the Marauders map, kind of. And basically just a good introduction to the game. And how the other challenges right, will work. George, what do you got to show us then? Something really special. This way. So yeah, very Even cool stuff from Fred and George's shop this passage. year. Beyond which you will find the Marauders map, a magical parchment that shows you everything you will ever need to know about Hogwarts. So there's an entrance to a secret passage in here. Yes, indeed there is, young Harry. And we're sure that one of you will be able to find it. Hint, hint. Change to Ron. Ron? Hey, there's something odd about that wall over there. When th you can um, interact with things, they have this strange quality Come to on, them. Ron. It looks See, sort of almost like passages. water. And um, only Ron can activate these things. Gentlemen, if you'd like to step inside. So the different characters will can um they have like different assets. So Ron is good at um finding secret doors and things. Um Harry is I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um but Hermione's also good at crawling into small spaces. The map's up there. Yeah, and we're down here. Good observation, Ron. Now, um... <laughs> Only Hermione fit through there. That's the thing, we don't have Hermione. Only Hermione Shush, there. shut up. Let's get this. Mm. A first bean. Mm. Yes, I know, Harry. Well done. Those that dare to take the leap must also take care of their friends. That button back there. I'm seriously trying to remember when that is used. But yeah, as as I said before about Hermione fitting through small spaces, and Harry just confirmed that. Only Hermione could fit through there. So you come across a few moments in the game where there is a small space. So you're gonna need to change... You're gonna have to get Harry and Ron to lift up the gate, and then Hermione will go through. Excellent. Yeah, it's another folio buti bri bri fo mm. folio buti. There it is. I think I have talking problems lately. I've been doing it a lot. Here we go. These buttons are cool. I love them. They've got a cool paw print on them. Oh yeah, that's a timer thing. <gasps> that was the shittest luck I've ever had. Starting again. There you go, Harry. Wicked. <gasps> oh. And now we've got a sidle across here. Take it steady. He sidles fast in this game, unlike Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets oh, sidling was switch. very slow. One on the other side of the room. room. <laughs> Pixies! Okay, shoot away guys. Hit them once, they get stunned and on the floor, and then you gotta hit them again while they're on the floor. That's how these work. Except if these ones, like if they just fall down there, you've got no problem. Where's the next one? There you are. 
Okay, now go over to Ron and get the one that's holding him up. Look at that chest! Get off me, you little creep! Nice, Ron, nice. Here we go. Get the beans. Ron's sussing out the wall because we will need him to do this. Aha! The old Weasley touch does it again! Mm hmm. Friends must work together. Stephen Fry gave us a hint. So yeah, this game's sort of full of puzzles. They're not that hard, but it's they're still very cool. So we need to get Harry over. You can call the companion over by um, pressing L1. Oh, it just says it on the screen there. Harry, come on. So that's lifted off of the pressure pad. And we also need to move this trunk along one of the, uh... Yeah, we'll just put it along here because we need to get up there. And if we don't have something to step on first, we won't be able to reach. Okay, here we go. So, there's the orb, which is the source of the light. Get the bean. Now, we gotta climb onto the mirror and move it so the light. Oops. These mirrors are a bit weird. You've sort of sometimes gotta move the analog stick in the opposite way of what you actually want to go. Otherwise, it goes a bit weird. There we go. So that's now shining to that orb which shines onto the eye and makes some steps for us to climb up. Very cool. That was great. Whoa. Calm down Ron, you're not gonna die. Okay, next bit. And some more points for Gryffindor, but first I'll get these yummy beans. Seriously, Fred and George must like jelly beans a lot to let people use them as money in their shop. Another puzzle? Oh, great. <clears throat> okay, this thing, I honestly don't know what to call Let's these things, here. but we've got to hit it three times. Going. Each time it flips around and you see the circle again. And that's done it. Ah oh, yes, that's what Harry can do. Harry can climb ropes. So here we go, Harry. There's something here, I think. Yes. Whoa, Harry climbs. <laughs> wow. Sure okay. Concern, More pixies. They're bloody annoying but easily sorted out. Is that all of them? Yep. Now we just drop down here and there's another rope, so we slide down, drop, get over here, get some beans. Get some beans from here, maybe? Yep. Come on, Harry. 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 There we go. And some more points for Gryffindor. The sound that we just Those heard was pretty damn creepy. Is at hand for every true mischief maker. Thanks, Stephen Fry. Follow the trail of jelly beans to the treasure chest, just in case you didn't see it. So as you may know from playing Chamber of Secrets, owl treats are used to um, get Hedwig to do stuff for us, so pretty much she won't help you unless you give her a treat. Selfish biatch. Aim, Harry. Jesus. You gotta hit it when it's mouth. Oh, damn it. Wrong time. When it's mouth's open like that, that's the weak spot, so. 
can spew some pages and now open them out. So it's quite easy to follow. And there we go. Just three hits. Okay, now climb up to here where the owl perch is. And Hedwig's soundtrack in this is beautiful. Hedwig. When you fly her, you'll hear it. I used to fly around purposely for too long just so I could listen to the music. Here you go. Here we go, guys. Listen to the music. I'm purposely going a bit slow. Okay, I suppose we have to get on with it. It's just the music. Uh. Actually, I don't think I've uploaded that. I'm going to upload the soundtrack to that. So, watch out for that, guys. I'll probably upload it either with or before this part. So, I think it's called Hedwig's Flight or Flight of Hedwig. Something like that. So, look out for that soundtrack because I'm going to upload it now. Because, yeah, it's very pretty. Okay, here we go. Points and password. Oh, please. Step through, young sir. Yep. You're weird. Okay, next section. We've got these knights which have laser beam things coming out their eyes. So you can't step into that space where the laser beams come out because you'll get detected and you'll have to start again. So they're around a few of the corners, but we've got to get the switch first to open the door. Yeah. Thank goodness they fixed the camera in this game. <laughs> Whoa, that was really close. So we can do full rotations with the camera, which is excellent. Love it. So yeah, that's the best way to go. Go all the way around. Watch out for this. Now we'll get this chest here. A singular jelly bean. Hope I don't make you guys dizzy with me moving the camera like that. Okay. Wait for it to go that way, stand in here, and exit. Oh, and this section here, we've got a chest in here. I'm saying here a lot, don't mean to, sorry. And another singular bean. Don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, and another chest here. And exit. That was a cool challenge. Simple, but cool. Really enjoyable. But it's not quite finished yet, there's just a tiny little section to go and then we're done. Oh my, it's Professor Snape. Can't let him see us. <gasps> The knights are easy in this one though because we can go behind them. This is the only section where you can actually do that. So be thankful. Sorry that I keep making the camera jump and I know that's probably annoying. Now, quickly. 
Here we go, Glenmore Peaks corridor. Did you get it, Len? What's it like? It's brilliant. Well, our job here is done. Feel free to come by any time. We're sure to have something of interest. And at a very reasonable price. Hey, look, your memorial's flashing. Do you want to have a look at your task list and see what it means? It means it's time to end the day. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. And stay tuned for part three.